Uba. Okay, hello people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It depends on when you are watching this video. Thank you for joining me and I want to say I really appreciate your time. Check it those that are checking on my video. God really bless you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you and your time. Okay. Today I'm going to be doing a making a video concerning a question that somebody asked me on Facebook. So I posted a, my photo on Facebook, uh, I think two weeks ago. So a friend of mine uh, asked me, inbossed inboss me and asked me, how do I manage to get my eyebrows done like this? Because the, the picture was, I think it was before and after. So my pay at the, one of the pictures, I was not having anything on my face. And the other one that was, I, I put on my makeup. So I believe this girl had seen my, my eyebrows and kind of wondering, oh my God, how did she make it? Because... As you can see, there's nothing there. So what I normally do, I try to draw it as much as I can, as as natural as I can, as I can. Just that sometimes the four foot, sometimes only four foot. So sometimes it works. Sometimes it's just kind of you know difficult. So anyway, so I just thought it wise to make a video and share with you guys what I use and how I do it and how I manage to get the result that some of you always see on my pictures on Facebook or Instagram or see on my face. So. Today, let's get to the video. Before then, uh -uh, wait, wait, wait. Please, 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 if you have not subscribed to my channel, SC, please try and do. Try and subscribe to my channel. And please also hit the notification bell so that whenever there is a video, you can come and check it out. Spend your 10, 15 minutes with me. God bless you. I appreciate you for that. Thank you very much. Let's get started. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's get started. Okay. Okay, let's go. So, number one thing I'm going to be showing you what I normally use to draw to make my eyebrows. This is a Kiko. Kiko, 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 Kiko. What is written? Kiko Eyebrow Marker. Echo. That is how it looks. Let me show it properly. I don't know if you can see it. It's just kind of... And it looks like this inside. Just like your paint. one used to write exactly the same, the same thing. Something like this. Just, this is just like eyeliner as well. Just that this one is brown. One can, something light brown. This is how it looks. So today, as you can see, I've already drawn this one, my right eye. So I'm going to be doing the left one so that you can see how I got this result. But later, I'm just have, I'll just have to put my my foundation to make it look much more, you know, much more nice and sharp. So let's get started. So number one thing that I normally do before I start drawing my eyebrows is that with my pen is what i normally do is as you can see i don't have too much how i make it to to get to you know at out as out as like this you know you can see so number one thing i just try to draw line like lines just like this cool. to give the illusion that there is hair there anyway not in there And when drawing it, I just try to give a little gap. Sometimes the ink eh, just sticks up. When you're drawing, you're not seeing anything. Although, although it's very light, that is why like, it's much more bigger. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Okay, but later I'm still going to clean it. Okay, this is what I normally do before starting it, starting to draw it. Just make, do it like, just very light, not just, I'm not even pressing it to, no. Just a little bit up like that, just as soft as I can. But at the same time, to make sure that the, the line is coming out the way I want it. Not so sharp and not so invisible. So, after that is done, First step, so now I'm just going to draw a line under it, something like this, just, you know, as if you paint something, you know, something like that, just take it. Okay. 
because as you can see here there is nothing here we don't have anything this is how i like it i like it because because the ending of my eyebrows the head there is coy it's just very coy so when i allow it to grow it just looks very rough to me so i don't like it i just prefer the ones that are straight and at the same time take off the ones maybe okay all right this is what i normally normally do but one thing about this pen is that it's a little bit light a little bit light i don't not is it is light anyway so when you draw it so sometimes you you just have to you see the difference somebody like me that doesn't have hair at the end it's just only half at the beginning so you have you it's as if you're seeing the the ending of my eyelash is a little bit lighter than than the beginning where there is a little where this from here to here so what i normally do is that i just try to draw it put you know use the paint to draw it as like three four times to make it looks a little bit dark just like where i have hair if definitely you can definitely see it you can see this place is dark and this place is a little bit light so what i normally do is that i just have to do it again and again so okay this is what i normally 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 do every time i am okay as you guys can see i don't know if you can see it properly you can see it now it's just i just it's just as natural it's just natural it seems as if i have this hair hair at the beginning meanwhile this i just create an illusion you know make drawing lines just very light just holding the pair very light at the same time making sure that the that the the, the content coming out of it is just doing what i want just giving that that thing that vibe that i want so at the end of it just look as natural as possible as if there is air there meanwhile there's nothing there's just you know creating your your thing the way you want so that is one thing I like about this pen. So it just gives you that natural look, make it seem as if you know everything there is just yours. Meanwhile, so you go around with pen. Okay. So guys, that is all. That's you can see the beginning is always a little bit light so that not to make it seem as if maybe it's just fake. So you just try to keep it as light as you can from the beginning from here to here there's nothing i just create create it draw, by drawing lines give make making it looks as if there is just hair there meanwhile there's nothing there from here to here there is nothing from here or from here to here there's hair from here to here there's nothing just 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 like that so after that is done oh my god where is the cover now where did i oh dear for this thing will dry oh my god where did i I can't find the cover of it. But before, let me just use something else to cover it up so that I, I don't leave it open so that and then it will just get dry. So what I normally do to alight my brows is my foundation. What I normally use is my foundation. So guys, I hope this video gives you the same vibe that you want to get. Just the way the way I do it. I just hope it's, you are able to do it. In practice, they say make perfect. Me, I was not like this before. In fact, my eyebrows before will make even fear. Because you say, oh my god, where this one come from? But that was what I knew how to do then. Trying it, trying it, watching videos of others and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, I got to learn. So every day, you just try to perfect it, make it look as natural as, as possible. Just get that, that natural, soft look that everybody's looking for. So I just use my foundation to highlight the down of it, under it. So let me show it to you properly. Just you see how it is. It's just so natural, just natural. Very easy, soft, and natural. Because when I want to apply it here, I just try to, just like to go soft. Just make it.
contact i'm not going anywhere to so i just make this just to show you guys how i normally do it so i'm not going out today so I'll just if I, if i were to be getting ready to go i definitely definitely i would have had more just to define a little bit more my eyebrows but since i'm not going anywhere there is no need for all that drama Okay, the same thing goes to the other side. All my foundation. This one is also from Kiko. Unlimited foundation from Kiko. The same thing, just take a little of it because at the end of the day, I'm not going out. So if I were to be going out, I'll just try to make it look a little bit more than what I'm applying now so that it will be a little bit not sharp a little bit a little bit more more nice although it's also nice like this because at the end of the day i always like putting very light makeup not too light and not too sharp let's add a little bit more Okay. Just need to apply it. I just put the mirror. I hope you guys saw what I did. I didn't even know that this little mirror is just covering the the camera. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's all. Not much. Just very light. Just just light. So, this is how I normally do my eyebrows. And the same thing goes, since I'm not going out, so I don't just want to do too much. I just make this video just to, just for some, just because somebody asked me. I, although I was, still, I was still going to do this, but since I don't want to go out, I don't want to get too much makeup. But what I normally do is that, seeing this same makeup, this one is also from Kiko. This one, as you can see, this one is much more dark. Full coverage, two in one. This one is the same thing, but this one is dark and this one needs to be light. What I normally do is that I also do the same to what I did here. Putting a little bit foundation on the down of my eyelashes just to make it pop out. I also do the same thing, but, but with the dark foundation. This one is a little bit dark. The same thing at the upper side because I don't want to get the same result from the down and up. So I just want to look something, do something natural. So that's why I always use this dark one at the up that i just do the same to what i did here a little bit more than i use my brush my beauty blender to blend everything out so my people this is how i do my my eyebrows this is always my result and at the end of my makeup after at the end of my makeup putting everything on i always still go again just to make it just to make it a little bit much more clean and you know and soft and just to get that same clean and neat eyebrows i always go back again with my with my what is it called mac marker so just to in, in case there is a little bit of make or a little bit of foundation goes a little bit up too much up to the way i don't want it. i just go back again and make sure that i got the kind of line that i want to or that i that i created before especially the, the end where i don't have anything I just concentrate there and make sure that everything just look as dark as possible. Just get what I want. Okay, my people. So, this is it. Let me come closer to the camera. So if I were to be going out, I'd, let me just do it. Let me just clean this place. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just, you know, clean it a little bit with foundation just to get clean job done. Same thing goes here. A little bit. Just make it as straight. 
Okay, that's nice. Okay, so we have come to the end of this video. I don't know what is your opinion, so you can leave your comment in the comment section. Please, guys, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope that this video gives you one or two ideas on how to make your eyebrows. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Once again, definitely see you on my next video. Stay blessed and have a nice week. Thank you very much. So, bye-bye.